Hi guys and welcome to another video blog of the Students Union. So this is the election special so I'm going to talk very quickly about the general election and the student union elections that are coming up. But before I start I just want to tell you about um, the Andrew Maxwell gig. It's on tomorrow night, Tuesday at 8 o'clock in Devere Hall. Of about 400 tickets there is only 40 left, so selling out hotcakes. So make sure you go get them in the student union box office. It's now called the print shop in the student centre on the ground floor just next to Bank of Ireland. So hopefully I'll see you there. Also, we're doing uh, mass student assemblies this week. It's the first time we've, been, we've done them since the 80s. So this is an opportunity for you to come along, discuss issues important to students, raise issues with the Students' Union. We're not going to be running it, we're just going to be there to listen. So you can criticise us if you want, you can ask us questions. And you can talk about things like, say, the general election and student politics and, you know, where should the union go or raise issues with your class, anything like that, but whatever comes to mind. So they're going to be on today anyway in uh, Booth 3 at 6 o'clock. And are going to be in Brookfield as well tomorrow night, specific Brookfield one for Brookfield students, because you're so usually, uh, you feel that we ignore you quite a lot. Hopefully we don't. Um, so that's those. So just talking quickly about the general election. It's really, really crazy season at the moment here in the Students' Union, or at the moment with the political situation. We don't know what's going to happen every minute. It looks like the doll is going to be dissolved this Friday, um, or maybe Monday at the latest. It looks like we're going to have the general election on, on February 25th. That's what most people are saying. It could be earlier. So... We need to get as many students as possible registered to vote. So if you're not registered already, we need to add you to the supplementary register. So you're looking at the RFA2 form, so Google RFA2. Download it, fill it out, and get a local guardie or get a guardie in Cork City if you want to register in Cork City to sign off on it and get yourself added to the to the um, electoral register. The more people that register and the more people that uh, get onto TDs and more people that appear in the register, TDs have to canvas or potential candidates for TD, uh, means that more student policy will be heard, more will be taken on board by the governmental parties, and more and more importantly, that they get implemented on the other side because they're afraid of different uh, disenfranchising the student vote. We're working heavily with USI at the moment on a general election campaign, so we're going to bring down a voter registration bus to campus, hopefully on the 2nd of February or at 2 o'clock. Some light entertainments, but also encourage to vote, tell you how to vote. And we'll also be doing election pledges. So we're going to get candidates that are running in all the constituencies to sign up to um, a USI election pledge So on student policy. So if they break their pledge, you can hold them accountable um, next time around when they're looking for your vote again. So those are a couple of things that we're doing. So just to get away from the general election for a minute, we'll talk about student union elections. So there are some changes to student union elections this year. Um, tell you the dates first of all. The 21st of February is the open of nominations for the student union. And the 28th of February at 5 o'clock they'll close. Uh, Campaigning will start the 3rd of March and then the next week on the 7th and 8th of March there will be the voting days for student elections. Now, first thing that we've changed is that we've got spending regulation limits. So for a full-time position, a sabbatical officer position such as president, you're only allowed to spend €500. Euro. You get 50% of that back um, if you've got receipted costs to €250. Euro. For a non-sabbatical position like entertainment, equality, Uffig na Gaelga, you're going to have a spending regulation of €250, Euro, get €125 Euro of that back with receipts. And then for things like the college representatives such as arts, sex, business and law, medicine and health, you're going to get €100 Euro spending regulation. Uh, limit and you're also going to have 50 euro of that back with receipted costs. So these are basically to encourage students that don't have as much money as other candidates to get involved. Hopefully the students union shouldn't be about how much money you can throw at a campaign but more about your ideas, your policies, your experience, what you can do for students etc. And this is hopefully going to um, curb a lot of the unnecessary spending that goes on. It, it, every other student union has regulation limits so we're following suit. The second thing we're doing is we're splitting the role of deputy president into two. Because the union general is overworked, we're understaffed, we had to cut staff um, this year to recession to save on costs. We're going to experience about a 40 grand drop in revenue that we're trying to offset with cost cutting measures, expansion of business, etc. Um, so we felt that the, that the deputy president role in particular could, could be much more effective. Um, so we're splitting into campaigns officer, deputy president and communications and commercial activities officer. And what they mean is the campaigns officer is going to be responsible for running all the campaigns of the students' union, organising the students' union, the volunteers, the class reps, getting people involved, communicating with students, going to lecture halls, going to houses, organising people to do that, taking things like election campaigns on, all that sort of stuff, and making that more effective so hopefully you know what we're up to more and more and more and raising profile of campaigns. We also needed a full-time researcher, so this person would be expected to do research and policies and campaigns, best practice, communication methods, the whole lot. What we're going to do as well with the other position is there's a lot of ideas around how we can expand business um, of the students' union, expand more commercial services free, provide more services, cheaper services, um, and get money into the students' union as well to bring down um, costs to provide free goodies for you, better services, and push down costs of stuff on campus that we can that we're involved in. 
So we need someone who will take on business plans, project plans, we'll, we'll see them through, come up with new ideas, um, we'll handle a lot of the commercial stuff that we're involved in, such as I'm a director of three companies, I'm on a management board, a student centre, and we need someone who's going to be able to take a lot more of that side on when things get really busy. Um, so that's what that person will be doing, marketing, advertising, raising revenue for them, guerrilla marketing, everything you can possibly think of. So that's what that person is going to be doing. Just to, a 